Reverse flipping technique, an alternate approach to tying reversing half hitches on alternating post. Authored by Alexander Chong, Daniel Prohaska, MD, Ryan Pate, MD, Daniel Prohaska, narrating. There are no disclosures for this. The benefits of this technique is that the surgeon can be absolutely sure the half hitch is tightened in the direction that it was intended, preventing the unintentional tension applied to the wrapping suture limb that causes the half hitch to flip. This knot employs standard knot pusher using a post limb and a loop limb. The knot pusher is kept on the post limb throughout the procedure and a hemostat is placed behind the knot pusher. The hemostat has purpose. It prevents the knot pusher from falling off or dropping during the knot tying process. It applies a small amount of tension onto the suture limb due to its weight and it's also used as an indicator of the suture limb as a post limb. The initial base knot can be a non-sliding, sliding and locking, or sliding and non-locking knot of the surgeon's preference. After, after placing the first base knot, a half hitch is applied. This half hitch consists of a single turn, usually around the post suture limb in either overhand or underhand configuration. Maintaining tension on the post suture limb is important throughout this tie. Overpointing is next done. This tightens the half hitch by using the overpointing technique. Tension is then deliberately applied to the loop suture limb until a flip occurs. Retighten the half hitch again by using the pass pointing technique. The second half hitch is then applied. The second half hitch is placed over the post suture limb again, but then the post is switched by increasing tension on the loop suture limb. Tightening the half hitch by using the pass pointing technique is employed. Tension is then deliberately applied to the post limb until a flip occurs. And once again, retightening the half hitch by using the over pointing technique is done. A third half hitch is then placed. It is over the post suture limb again while maintaining tension on the post limb. Over pointing is done. And finally, tension is deliberately applied to the loop limb until a flip occurs. And finally, pass pointing the half hitch again by using the pass pointing technique completes the knot. Precaution is to not to over tension during pass pointing or over pointing, as this could also potentially flip the previous half hitch that has already been tightened without noticing. It is also noted that tension should not be placed of more than 10 pounds of loads on this knot. In conclusion, we believe that this technique may prevent the discrepancies of maximum clinical failure loads observed between orthopedic surgeons and thereby achieve a better outcome in arthroscopic surgeries that required knot tying. This gives the best stability possible for maintaining tissue integrity.